everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now when it comes to choosing which universities you are going to apply for, uh, it's not the easiest of choices and it certainly wasn't for me. So what I thought I would do in this video is I'm going to split it into three parts. First of all, I'm just going to answer some of those common questions that often are asked when it comes to choosing universities. Then I'm going to talk about uh, some of the key factors to think about, some of the factors that I considered when I was choosing which universities to apply for. And then finally, I am going to just give some final bits of advice. And I'm going to do all of that in this lowdown on choosing the right university. So starting off with those common questions. Now the first question is, or as often asked, is what is the maximum number of courses I can apply for? Uh, UCAS says that the maximum is five. Um, now there could be different courses across different universities, but the maximum number of courses you can apply for is five. Second question is, isn't there an uh, earlier uh, date uh, in terms of a deadline for Oxbridge? And the answer to that is yes. For Cambridge and for Oxford, as well as some veterinary and medicine courses, the deadline uh, is around about the 15th of October. For the rest of the courses for other universities, it's around about the 15th of January. Uh, so yes, it is an earlier date. Uh, third question is, what about this uh, difference between firm and insurance choice? Now, the important thing to remember when it comes to firm insurance choices is this doesn't happen until you get your offers in, and they also, they'll come uh, later in the academic year. But when you start getting those offers in, you'll be thinking about your firm choice. Your firm choice is your first choice, so uh, my firm choice uh, was Cambridge. Uh, and your insurance choice is your second choice, so mine was Durham. And the idea of your insurance is just in case you don't achieve what you need for your firm choice, um, you've got your insurance as a backup. Uh, so if I, if I didn't get into Cambridge, uh, Durham would have been my backup. Turning on to looking at some of the common factors, the first common factor, of course, is the, the type of course. Um, so it's important when, uh, when you look at different universities to think about uh, if you've got any career aspirations. At the moment, it's all right if you haven't, but if you're, for, for example, interested in the law or you're interested in medicine or science or whatever it, whatever it might be, looking around the different universities and looking at what courses they offer, it's useful um, to look at if they do combined, so if it might be law and something, or it, they could be combining uh, two subjects together, and um, so make sure you look at that. Also looking at the type of course, so it could be full-time, it could be part-time, so depending on what your situation is, that's all uh, useful to look at. And it's also useful to look at whether the course at that university has an Erasmus scheme, quite a lot of them will probably have that. Uh, and with that looking at where where the Erasmus scheme opportunities are, it'll be your choice on what you're interested in doing uh, because you want to try and choose something that you're uh, enthusiastic about. I was enjoying law at A level. The second factor is entry requirements and of course it goes without saying it's important to look at each university and look at what they uh, need you to get. But look at the entry requirements and think about uh, what you uh, you know what you're predicted to get. But think about what you know what you believe you are likely to get. But also remember, um, for me, I got a, a C for English literature in my ES. Um, so I, you know I can remember uh, getting it and just being not sure if I could even apply to Cambridge um, because because of that that low grade. But then when I came to A levels, uh, I picked it up and I got an A. In English literature. So look at what grades uh, you do have and uh, look at what you're predicted but then just but remember it's just this is just one factor that you want uh, to consider and you consider um, you know if you whether you might be able to for example get a higher grade um, in your A levels compared to ES or equivalent depending on what you are doing. So, but it's important to look at the different universities and look at the entry requirement uh, for uh, for that university. Third factor is distance. To be honest, I one of the factors that was putting me off from applying to Cambridge originally was distance because it's, I'm from Sunderland, um, and so the idea of going to Cambridge was uh, it was a daunting prospect in the sense that it was just far away from you know my family and my friends, um, and that was probably one of the reasons why my other choices, uh, which were Durham, Newcastle, Northumbria, and York were all quite close uh, to home. 
But I think it's important to remember that, uh, and I've certainly I've learned this since uh, being at university, is whilst distance can you know be a, is an important factor. Um, moving to it, you know you do have that chance when you go to university to go to somewhere new, um, and also the chance to meet new people there, and. Wherever you are from, there is support going to be available at your university. I had support, um, you know, from the very moment of Freshers Week uh, onwards, I've had support from different sources at my college and at my university. At the end of the day, it's a personal choice. Uh, I can only give my experiences, I can only uh, say what happened to me, but at the end of the day, it's your choice. So if you prefer to be closer to home, that's perfectly fine. But again, and there's no harm in if you really uh, want to apply to a university that's further away, potentially another country, then don't discount it straight away just because it's uh, further away. You know, take some time to think about it. Next factor is uh, accommodation. Um, so it's important when you're looking at applying to universities, looking at the type of accommodation. If it's, um, you know, for example, it's a college system based at university like Cambridge or Durham or Oxford then you might be staying, uh, you probably have accommodation in the college at least for your first year. At Homerton College at Cambridge, I have got accommodation for all three years of my degree, um, which was very reassuring. Uh, but again, it's preference. Uh, you might want to still go out and rent somewhere in your second year or in your third year. But it's important to look at the type of accommodation that's available, um, whether you go on open days or just checking online, checking with uh, if you know people who are in the years above, um, because that would be important, and also there be an uh, element of cost in there as well. You, you will have your student loan, but you'll want to consider a bit of cost in terms of accommodation as well. And the fifth factor is um, thinking about friends, and the reason why I put this one on is uh, I know people who ha have stay wanted to stay with some of their friends from sixth form um, to the universities. And it might be the same for you. You might want to stay with your friends, and that's perfectly understandable, um, because you know they're the friends you've known, and you might want to spend more time with them. That's understandable, but I think it's important to remember, you know, university is a great chance to meet new people. Uh, as I mentioned in my Freshers uh, Week video, do do uh, don't forget to check that out if you haven't already. Uh, I talked about you know how I was able to meet new people, and you know they. You know, including the people who would eventually become my friends. So again, don't discount um, a university out just because you might be the only one who's applying there in your year because you've got a chance to meet new people. And, you know, when you're off on holiday, you, you know, be able to catch up with your old friends, go out on holidays together, things like that. And finally, I just want to touch on some final advice that I would give. And the first bit is crucial is research. Now, you, you know, get, go to your uh, college in year six form and they can help you uh, with this. But it's important to do some research into universities to look at um, look at the courses that are on, looking at the entry requirements uh, for that particular course, looking at how um, the university works, looking at uh, facilities that are provided. If it's a college system, looking at the different colleges. And also, you know, it gives you a good chance to um, look at other things like the Erasmus scheme, for example. So that's my first bit of advice. Research is so important. Um, and, you know, like I said, you know, go to your college of sixth form and they can help you out. My second bit of advice is to, if you can, attend those open days. Uh, open days are, you know, often during the summer, but sometimes they're on later in the year. So if you haven't been to an open day, but you might have the chance, uh, or you are thinking about applying to university and so open days will be coming up uh, either this year or next year then it's important if you can to go to them. Now of course you might not be able to because of distance or when it's on that's understandable but if you've got the chance for an open day I very much encourage it. Um, so I went to the open day for Cambridge I think I went to yeah I went to the open day for all of them Cambridge, Durham, Newcastle, Northumbria and York and I'm glad I did um, because you just get to see the environment that you might be uh, eventually living in, studying in. You get to you know uh, hear from lecturers who might be giving talks on about what the, uh, how the course works, uh, or they be giving taster sessions, which they did at Cambridge. Um, they did one I think was on European law uh, by Professor Barnard. Um, but it just gives you a chance to just see what the university is like. Going to the open day was probably one of the things that really 
helped me to make my mind up in terms of that I was going to apply to Cambridge uh, because I was there and I just felt compared to the other universities that this one was the right one like in a way it came down to feeling um, but it, it, it did it just it felt right to me and I just liked I just you know I, I felt like this would be the right university to apply uh, apply to as my uh, preferred uh, option but that was just me that's just my, my experience so I hope you found this guide on choosing the right university to be helpful if you've got any questions put them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them I'm going to link in some uh, websites uh, for UCAS and um, just so you can look at that they give some they go into much more detail uh, so I encourage you to look at that um, I'll have a, a video coming out next week about choosing co between colleges so watch this space for that uh, don't forget to do the usual things like in the video uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram hit, hit that notification bell to keep up to date uh, share the video let other people know if you know people who are thinking about applying to university then you know guide them towards this video and then you can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already um, I encourage you to do that and you can do that by clicking on the bottom right hand corner and then finally you can check out my other videos and vlogs and I hope to see you in the next video